It's time for another Dice Tower Review with Barry. Hello chaps and chapits, it's been a long time, but as you can see I've been busy working here in my new house in Winterfell. Skyrim. No, it's a black, it's a garage really, and it's being transformed into my sulking room where I'll be coming to do reviews. Talking of reviews, this is a review um, but I'm not a game of such, and not really a twister. Uh, follow me, I'll tell you a story. So, my little story. When we used to play board games, uh, to decide who was to go first, I'd get twister out, I'd get the little spinner out, and we'd sit in the middle, spin it, and where it pointed was the star player. Then games started to come, and in the rules it stated who was the star player. For example, in Ticket to Ride, it's the player who has been to most European countries is the star player. Or in Timeline, it's the very youngest player which is the star player. Now this is good up to a point when you're playing with the same kind of, the same group of people all the time. When you're playing with the same group of people, it's always going to be the same person that's the star player. So what do you do? Well, for those of you who don't have iPhones and can't download a star player app or a spinning disc, there's this. Start player by Ted um, as, uh, Asparagus. So in the box, you will find a deck of fifty four cards a starter player meeple which as you can see is a bit faded um, that's how it came and of course the rules and I have to tell you this is my French version I haven't got an English version let's do it let's do a Tom Basil 54 cards and a meeple is that all this is well yes basically it's just for deciding who the star player is now the good thing about these cards is they come with two ways of figuring out your star player. You have a text here which you read aloud and that will apply and then you have this little arrow which works in the kind of the same way as the twister. Let's have a closer look at these cards. So how does star player work? Well basically you get the deck of cards, you give them a shuffle and you place them in the middle of the table in between all the players. And then you as players decide whether you're going to follow the arrow or follow the text. And then one player will turn over the top card. And then if you're following the arrow, for example, and the arrow is pointing this way, that means that the player who it's pointing at is the star player. Simple as that. If there is egality, it's in between, then you take another card and follow the arrow again. Or you follow the text. Now let me read this in my really bad French. Okay. La prochain jour, donnez l'argent à quelqu'un serait le premier jour. Now that basically says, if I translated it well, that uh, the play player who has eaten the most spiders is the first player. No, that's wrong actually. <laughs> because nobody actually knows how many spiders they've eaten because you kind of eat spiders when you're sleeping. No, that, that actually says uh, the, the first player is the first person to give another player some money. This one is the first player will be the person that can stand on their leg, one leg the longest. This one says uh, the player who owns the most board games is the first player. This one says uh, the player that has done yoga most recently is the first player. This one is the player who's sitting on the right of the person that turn this card over is the first player. You get the idea. Uh, the player who is wearing the most white is the first player. This one is the player who is the tallest is the first player. This one is the player with the biggest feet is the first player. Now as you can see there's a kind of theme and they're kind of denoted with these coloured meeples in the bottom. These green ones are about you personally. These red ones 
are about things that you've done. These yellow ones are uh, about things in your life. And then these blue ones are action ones. So if there's things like you don't like, like I don't like these action ones, I take these blue ones out because they're quite easy to, to sort out from the rest of the cards. So there you go. That's Star Player. So what do I think of Star Player? Well, I think that is a board game application which everybody should use. It is useful. It is funny. It is amusing. Um, you could do without maybe certain categories, like the physical ones, the standing on one leg. But the good thing is they're labelled what colour they are, so you can remove them and just shuffle the deck, put it in and take another one which is about your personality or about what you did recently. The cards are of good quality, the artwork is humorous and it uses obviously board game kind of objects. Um, as you saw my start player meeple was a bit worn colour wise, don't know why. Um, but again there's a lot of variety there. The other good thing about the start player is that I can get it out and not scare anyone. Unlike when I get Twister out, and that scares everyone when you think, oh, we're going to play a game, oh, he's got Twister out, oh my god. And that's just for deciding the start player, so. The arrows on the card is a nice idea, but I feel it could have been implemented a bit better and bigger, maybe. Um, another thing I would have liked to have seen is if the meeples on the cards, let's get one. So, like, there you go, there's, there's a meeple on this card, a yellow one. If you turn it over and you see a meeple on the card and whatever colour it is, if you pick your colours before playing the game, whatever colour you are, if it matches, then you're the star player. So, in this case, yellow would be. I find it very useful and I use it practically most of the time when we're playing games. Obviously, there's some games which you can't decide the star player. Say, for example, uh, the Game of Thrones um, card game. But it is useful. Uh, one thing that doesn't does strike me a bit bizarre is it says it's for 14 years and up, uh, which is why my seven-year-old daughter likes reading the cards, and she especially likes reading the card which says, "Oh, the person that's just spoken to their mother most recently is the star player," and that would be her because mother's playing as well. <laughs> It's a nice application, it's one that, as I said, I use regularly, and it's one that I'm going to keep. Um, if you're not too happy about cards, I love cards, I love shuffling cards, you can buy the app, which is about 99 cents or something on Amazon for your iPad or whatever they're called. I don't know, I just have a basic phone, eh? Poor. Thanks for watching our review today. For more information about board games, as well as the number one board game audio podcast, check out Dicetower.com for reviews, interviews, and more. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. What?